Okay, <laughs> I think I'm live now. Um, let's click. Okay, I am live now. Hi, everybody. Good morning. It's 11 o'clock, 11.01 on a Sunday. Showing up for my night, doing the thing. It's snowing here. Maybe I can show you. I'm in Ohio. I don't know if it's going to look white, huh? Yeah. It's been a, a rough week. I don't know. Um, let me know if you can hear me okay. Let's do all the little last minute things here to get ready. You know, we always start with the breath, so go ahead and let's start taking some deep breaths together. I was up early as usual. I did yoga already. This week I've been crying on the yoga mat. This week I've been waking crying. I decided just, this is real, this is honest, this is me today, you know. Peace, I'm so glad you're here, creative companions. Um, let me know if you can hear me okay. Somebody wants to hit me with a comment. Well, almost every Sunday, you know, I made a commitment to do this. 11 o'clock on Sundays show up as myself, my higher self creative guide, you know, and then every Sunday I go, you know what, I'm not doing it, <sighs> but here I am showing up, and I'm glad you showed up too, I do yoga with Adrian on YouTube, I've been doing that for really, 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 really a lot of years, and she says the hardest part is showing up, so show up for yourself show up for your creative self that's kind of my point with creative companions i didn't even put my necklace on i usually wear that necklace with the little opal anyway um i'm glad you're here take some deep breaths with me now just breathing in and out coming to this present moment Feel your feet on the floor. Get comfortable in your seat. Wait a second. Before we do that, before we get ready to meditate, make sure you have the things that um, you need to be comfortable to sit here for, with me for a while today. Um, I have all my stuff because I'm in my morning artist space here. Um, but maybe you want markers today. Maybe you want to paint Maybe you want cardboard. I was thinking, and this just keeps coming up, I am loving awareness. I am here in loving awareness, witnessing today. And so far today it's snowing, which changed my plans. I did have plans to go do a photo shoot today here in Ohio, but because of the snow, I'm not going to do that. Um, they've decided, nah. So we're going to just stay in and stay warm. So... Um, I was already in motion, so I decided, well, let's go ahead and show up in loving awareness for my creative companions, where we're believing mirrors for one another, and we can remind each other what we're doing here. I believe in you. I'm so happy that you're creating wherever you are, and that you're taking time for that. I see so many of you now sharing your art with me. Um, Vicki, I see you there, and I love the art you've been making and sharing here on Creative Companions. It's Tamara's birthday, if you know Tamara. Um, she's been sharing her art here with us on Creative Companions, too, and it's her birthday today. So, happy birthday, girl. Today is your birthday. I hope you have a good time. So, I thought we would um, make stars so you could draw the shape of a star or cut out a big star like I did. And we'll get back to that. Um, empowerment stars, I call them. So, so get your markers, your paints. Um, you don't have to do the same creative project I do. Um, hi, Susan. Thanks for um, messaging me this morning and going, hey, you're going to do the thing. I said, hmm. Well, I'll do the thing. So my hair's still wet. I just took a shower and everything to get ready to go somewhere. I don't often go somewhere. Uh, I wonder if anybody is keeping up with and doing the good stuff jar. So on the January, the first week we got together on Creative Companions, we made good stuff jars. And the practice here is to train us to look for the good stuff. And so at the end of each and every day, 
I've been putting one little piece of paper in my good stuff jar. Something good that happened that day. My jar also was a coffee jar, so it smells like coffee. So let's take a whiff too. There's aroma therapy. Let's just pull one out to just give you an example of. Um, hi, Billy. You're welcome. Um, oh, on January 17th, I took a long nap. That was my good stuff that day. So it's just the simplest things, or maybe it's huge things. Some of you might have seen. I have a big thing. Um, I have a gallery show coming up this year that I am getting ready for. So this is a new thing, a different thing. Um, so sometimes you, maybe at the end of the day, you might go, oh my, did anything good happen today? <laughs> and you have to sit there and think about it. And... And, and I encourage you to do that until you can think of one little thing to write on that piece of paper and put in your good stuff jar. Because I look forward to getting together with y'all at the end of 2023 and going through our good stuff jars together. Maybe we'll find one another in there, right? So, uh, good stuff just now. Fern just brought me coffee in my birthday mug. This was the mug I got for my birthday, speaking of birthdays. So, if it's your birthday out there. Happy birthday. I wonder if it's snowing where you're at. Vicki, it's snowing where you are, huh? Um, it's really pretty. It's like that heavy snow that's laying on all the branches and trees. I'm going to have to get out there and take some photographs later. All right. So, let's take some deep breaths. And just get comfortable in our seat. I just encourage you to... Do that kind of deep breathing throughout this whole hour today. So we practice the art of meditating, practice the art of listening. You can listen to the sound of my voice. Um, I will try not to be abrasive or annoying. <laughs> um, and breathing, just breathing and just being comfortable in the now. Warm and comfortable. Snowy and cold outside perhaps, but... Hopefully you're warm and comfortable. If nothing else, make sure your feet are warm. Put your socks on if you need to. Just continue to breathe and let's focus on that feeling of being warm. Maybe you're lucky enough to be sitting in the sun somewhere. And you can feel the sun on your skin. We can imagine that here in the snow. So meditation is one of the practices that we do to help us be present and come to the now. Meditating with the eyes open is a thing, folks. You don't have to close your eyes. A great meditation is just to really bring your awareness to your sight. And just simply sit where you are and breathe and look. Watch it snow. You know. We like to watch like the water or the sun glisten off the water. All those little things are meditations. And if we can just remember to breathe deeper, it helps, you know? So yeah, so here I am, misguided painting. I have no idea. I have no planning for today. Um, we make these empowerment stars usually about once a year. I have several of them that I put on the walls here in my space. And I just grabbed this one. So... You can make yourself a big star, as big as you can make it on your piece of paper. Cut it out. Take your time. We do these creative projects, too, to remind us to keep breathing through it, whatever it is. So breathe through your creative process. It steadies your hand, you know. Um, so you get all nervous and excited and anxious that you're going to mess it up or do it wrong or whatever, and your hands get shaky. A few deep breaths will help with that. So you can take your time cutting out a star. Whatever big funky star shape you make. You can make a heart shape if you want to. But anyway. So. And then you can use all the colors. You can just write on here as I talk. Um, at the top. I don't know if you can see this. But oh you can. So I wrote. I, Kimisu, am, dot, dot, dot. So you'll write, I, 
comma, your name, not, don't write your name, write your name, <laughs> whatever your name is, mine is Kimmy Sue, you could write your kid name, that's my kid name, I, Kimmy Sue, am, dot, 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 and then we're going to give some thought, oh, it's 1111, all is well, we're going to give some thought to what comes after the dots, and we want them to be words that empower us, and the things that we know that are good about us. So I, Kimmy Sue, am loving awareness. We all could start with that. You could write that. I, your name, am loving awareness. I am loving awareness now. You can simply be loving awareness right now. I am lovingly aware of what is going on around me. I am lovingly aware of myself sitting in this seat. I'm lovingly aware that I am communicating <laughs> with you all. So, I am loving awareness. That's the thing with affirmations, is um, making your brain believe it, you know? I am funny. Oh, also, if in the comments you would like to share some of your I ams, you could write them on here with all different colors. You could write them in different ways. You could write them with your opposite hand. Um, remembering to breathe. Stardust. I am stardust. I'm just going to read you the words on mine. I am healthy. I am golden. See, it's like meaningless. What does that mean? I'm golden. <laughs> uh, I'm graceful sometimes. <laughs> We're not anything all the time, right? I'm grateful. I'm growing. I'm faithful. I don't say what we're faithful to. We're just faithful. Oh, I'm a great friend. You are, Lori. Uh, I like that one. I'm a great friend. I am patient. I am conscious. I am learning. Yes. I am a respecter of life. That one surprises me that I wrote that. That's not a phrase I hear myself saying ever. Maybe somebody else threw it out and I wrote it down, right? Um, I am strong. I am open. Caring. So, that's the point. That's the point. You know, I've been um, struggling with a, um, what do you want to call it? Busy, uh, triggered, negative mind waking me in the night saying not so nice things about Kimmy Sue. So this is why we do these kind of things um, to counter that, you know? Um, in talking to other humans in the world and people that I know, often we're bothered, other humans too, it's not just me, by this negative self-talk and this, this voice that comes up that wants to... Mm, sabotage us yes so my computer made a noise so just trying to simply uh, silence that is really difficult and trying to have just a quiet mind I don't know about you but for me uh, it's pretty noisy in there so uh, I can be conscious of what I'm thinking and give it better things to think and if all else fails I will I just go to the canvas and paint, and then it will become silence. Jesser, you're doing a show too. Good morning. We're both doing shows this year. I'm so proud of us. Yeah, buddy. And uh, I just saw that the date of the opening, I really hope to get myself down there to Florida by then. Maybe you'll see us. Maybe Vern and I will come to your opening. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. So fellow artists, we're all artists out here. You know, do your thing. Show up for yourself and make your art. Um... It's still snow and it's so pretty. So I guess I'll talk a little bit about. Oh, I'm le needing to learn patience with myself. Mm. That's a good one, Lori. That's a thing that's been coming up lately is um, knowing what you need and being able to ask for help when you need help has been a real big theme for me. And I realize that. I'm pretty disabled as far as that is concerned. Um, 
I have a lot of experiences that I could tell you every horrible one of them and all the details that's not necessary but I have a lot of experiences that make me feel like if I ask for help I'm gonna get hurt if I ask for help I'm gonna get more abuse so that causes hermiting and oh hi Mercedes I'm a person who's learning too so I'm trying to learn to be able to ask for the help that I need so I have this show coming up and I'm gonna need a little help for that and then I have a big show in my mind that I want to do my life's work show called no voice no freedom and I'm gonna need a lot of help for that so maybe you want to be involved I don't know see it makes me nervous to talk about it and so I'm gonna show you some things in my journal <laughs> Okay. Oh, freezing rain. Yeah, the snow's better. This is really pretty, and I feel like I could go out and play in it a little bit later. Okay, so Mercedes says when we beat ourselves up in our mind to say, I'm a person who is learning X, Y, Z. I'm a person who is learning to um, define my needs and wants. I'm a person who is learning to ask for the help that I need to reach my goals. Ooh, that's good. Oh, Aiden just woke up downstairs. He said, wah. I still live with the, the baby. Um, so in the, artist, in the artist way, we learn to use morning pages as a way to get to know ourselves and um, have these conversations with ourselves. And so I just wanted to show you an example of one of my journals besides writing in longhand words I do this sketch um, and they're really fun to go back to you know that's one reason to do them you know why do we create art you know to remind ourselves uh, who we are all is well look at that it says I am loving aware awareness again I am loving this awareness that all is well in my world and the best is yet to come that's a pretty one so on these marker meditations, a lot of times I try to just breathe and keep the hand moving and let it make what it makes. And it's been a really fun practice. So we talk about that a lot in Creative Companions. What are we practicing? Look at that. Practicing breathing in and out practicing feeling my feelings <laughs> I'm curious about X Y and Z I like that too so I got pretty curious about this lion aspect didn't I it's day after day what was happening here with this kind of paper was the marker from today kind of bled through and gave me a starting point for the next day so just flipping through these an idea just saying if you sit down with yourself every day and practice your art whatever art that is at the end of the year you got a big pile of art what if you did it every single day oh that's good too I am learning to say no more not be a yes person Ooh, look at how pretty this one is what's it say now here nowhere now here See, now, here, and nowhere are the same things. So, we're all in the middle of nowhere. We're all a bunch of random strangers looking at a screen. <laughs> I, us I usually say we're random strangers sitting around a fire. But, not today. We're sitting around a screen. Look at that one. Boom. Chakalaka. And it, it, meaningless, maybe. Significant, perhaps. Fun? Sure. That one's fun, isn't it? So that's an idea, too. Mm. I like y'all talking in the comments. That helps me. Autonomous one. Present presence. You could write that on your I am star. Here now. Y'all know I say that all the time. Now, I think when you're comforting your friend who's crying, and we always go, oh, there, there, or at least people used to say that to me, there, there, I think it makes more sense to say here, 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 because when we're all upset and stewing around, we're not here now, present, you know? So, here, here, love is in the air, love is everywhere, 
Love is now here. That's what this one says. So these are just little nice reminders, man. Like when I get blue, I can pick up one of these books and flip through it. You know, and sometimes like my sketches in the morning, maybe I can find one. These all look lovely. Um, but sometimes maybe they're dark. Mornings can be tough. Maybe you didn't sleep good. Maybe you got a phone call that's hard to deal with. Whatever. Got some news and you're feeling whatever. Um, those ones are harder for me to share. You know? I guess it's harder to share our dark. Which is maybe good. I like sharing the light a whole lot better. So yeah. Being a positive conscious presence is a conscious practice. All is well. Hmm. I am free to be me. You could write that on your star. Or just, I am free now. Oh, hard time knowing how the camera works. And I've also found that if you, like, show up to do, like, for me, this daily practice of sketching, characters, themes appear. Mirror, mirror, cosmic mirror. I and I. As the little man grumbles from over there, he shows up in the sketch as well. As me and Vern. Stay focused, breathe now. Look, we got peace signs floating over our heads. We got horns. What's it say in that heart space? I can't even read it. Oh, soul shine. It says soul shine. <laughs> you know, and the thing that this does, it, you're journaling in the morning, or and then if you add some doodling, call it whatever you want, um, it causes you to sit with yourself and spend some time with yourself. Ooh, and maybe get some clarity. Unity rising, one. That's pretty. So for me, like a lot of times, to keep the practice and so that I will sit there long enough, I um, use all the colors. And just let it, you know, whatever comes, comes. So on our stars, I am growing, I am flowing now. I let go. <laughs> No, we're doing I am stars, so that doesn't fit. I do suns a lot with faces, don't I? And things growing. Just flipping through. So I wonder if any of you are doing the morning pages, if that's new to you, if that's something you've done before. Um, you know, I'm getting ready to do this No Voice on oh, no, not this show at the Fresh Air Gallery. I have some writing to do. Uh, for that and that's another thing the morning pages has done for me is got me in the practice of being a writer so it doesn't scare me to sit down and have to write something I do that every day <laughs> I write stuff so it's likely that I'll write what I need to write for the show some morning in my journal first you know I'm reading uh, Billy's comment right now. I know, and I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna do it, Billy. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I love you. Now, oh, good. I know, me either, Mercedes. And that's okay, though. Like, I have a. I've been writing morning pages since my son was born, and he's gonna be 29 this year. So 29, 29 years I've been doing morning pages. And it is a really good way to use that OCD part of ourselves. Take care of it first thing in the morning. You know, give yourself some little um, thing that your OCD brain likes to do, you know. It likes routines. So for me, starting off with, ooh, my little artist kid self gets to play with all the colors first thing in the morning while I drink my coffee. You know, that's my big girl thing. <laughs> so there you go 
Very good. I'm glad, Susan. So Susan says the pages have been very therapeutic for her as well. This is a groovy one. You know, and like I think we talked about before, you'll notice your handwriting changes depending on your mood. Um, a lot of times, mornings, I, like I said, for a lot of us, mornings are tough. And so I might start off with bitching in my journal. And, uh, but by page three, I've turned it around because I don't want to hear me talking that way. And that helps me realize that my friends don't want to hear me bitching either. <laughs> So I got to find a better way to ask for help than being poor little whiny me. Yeah. Expand now. This one's funny because she has like a face on her back. Somebody from the back in a doorway, but there's eyes on her shoulders. See that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah. Morning pages are, are a lot of fun. And then whatever art form you're practicing, um, and your your art form that you like to practice might change from time to time. Uh, you might do painting for a while and then also play the guitar. And practice that every day. Um, yes, I'm open to new ideas. That's a good uh, thing to follow your I am with. Uh, I was going to show you something else here if I can find it. Are you remembering to breathe? Take a deep breath wherever you are. Side out. I just found another one of my uh, journals over there. So sometimes I do pencil sketches. I've been doing the marker meditations lately and um, somebody said... Uh, I'm going to start doing that as soon as I get markers. And I said, you don't need markers. I bet you have a pencil. So sketching is fun too. Um, so sometimes I am grateful. I am beautiful. It says beautiful day. Grateful, beautiful day. You know, and it feels good to make something beautiful. You know, what if you make something beautiful first thing in the morning every day? It doesn't have to take long. You know, I don't know how long these sketches take me. I don't time them. And if I get called away, that's cute how I wrote now down there. Look at that. With that little figure stepping up. She's stepping up, guys. <laughs> that's a fun one. Look at that. Yeah. So, let's see. What do we got here? I am clear. We said that. I am free from fear. Free from fear. That's a good one. Just looking for some words for you. You know, here would be, like, one of the ones that I would say, oh, I don't want people to, like, feel bad for me or something if I share a sketch where I look sad. And um, it has come up before where I have shared one that's kind of dark and people said, oh, Kim, are you okay? Um, I, I do. Thank you for asking. There is that. Um, but these are just a moment, you know, it's dealing with that. Maybe I had an emotion that morning. Something made me sad. I bet if you looked in the written journal, you'd find out what that was about. And that's interesting, eh? You know, so your written journal can go along with your sketch journal. Awake. I am awake now. Oh, so this was another practice I did. So do you see, like so hard for me to point okay so the dots in this going down to where it says awake that is the word breathe written in sanskrit and it's really fun to write so i like to write that over and over while i breathe i haven't memorized now but at first i had to look every time and it's really fun to write that so it's fun to, um, even in your journal where you're writing your morning pages, you could you can doodle in there. Julia Cameron says, just keep the hand moving. So if you are out of words, you could doodle in your journal. It's your journal. Do whatever you want. You're a grown person. <laughs> Look, I even like to write breathe really little sometimes, over and over and over. You see? Infinity symbols. I like to make those. 
My friend Kevin likes to dance infinity around two fires. You'd have to ask. Yeah. I'm whole now. I am here now. You know, here's one where I was feeling a certain kind of way. <laughs> yeah. Are you breathing? Are you filling in your stars? It really means a lot to me when y'all share your artwork with me and you share your progress and your stars and your creative recovery. This is a fun one. Getting aspects of the self. I and I. There's my little kid self swinging on a swing in the center. Look, I'm down here cheering her on. Oh, look, that's a 411. 1 1. my birthday twin on here today me and Billy have the same birthday you know and as we found like when I do guide you all in a painting and we do a guided painting together though we all do it as a group as one group we are also each an autonomous one and so it's a unique expression even if you follow, you know, some people uh, get jealous and of artists that are doing things that they wish they could do. I say be inspired. And it's okay to, like, copy them a little. That's how we learn. And then your own voice comes out through that, you know. So it's okay to have someone else as your guide for a while. While you're finding your own voice, you might practice the styles of others. Um, that's what musicians do, don't they? And artists can do the same. Um, that's flattering if another artist attempts to do the same as you, right? I don't know. I see some people getting mad about that. I feel like, oh, they're ripping me off. You really can't do that. You know, it's, we each have our own unique voice. It's going to come out however you do it. That's your hands, your mind, your connection that you're using. Yeah. What's this one say? Woosa. Woosa now. It's calming down. It's like the wind's trying to take her. Look at that braid blowing out. It's, there's a lip print on my ass there. It's, kiss my ass. <laughs> I'm just here now. <laughs> That's funny. I think I'm pretty clever sometimes in my sketches too. You know. I'm not feeling so connected. It's okay. She comes out of that little pod eventually. Yeah. Well, I love you all. And uh, I hope you'll make an empowerment star. And write a bunch of good stuff on there. Hey, Rainy, I just noticed you're here. So, Rainy's been sharing some sketches I was talking about you. So, I hope you were here for that. Oh, I am free. I am childlike. I am full of wonderful. I'm full of wonderful. <laughs> That's not what she said. She said, I'm full of wonder. Thanks, Susan, for those. Oh, I am free to wander. Wonderful. Oh, you playing with that. That's fun. Yeah, word plays a lot of fun. Whatever you do, don't give up on you. You got you now. Rise yeah, now. Oh, now it's sunny. Sure. A little bit brighter outside. So here, I'll share that one with you. Whatever you do, don't give up on you. You got you now. You got your back. So it's time to rise. We're going to get on with our day. Take some deep breaths, and I'm going to say bye. Thank you for joining me today for this little impromptu get-together. When you finish your star, if you would take a picture of it, show it, <laughs> and show it to me, I'll show you mine. Now you show me yours. And then hang your star up in your room where you can see it somewhere. Maybe you'll add words to it as they come up for you. Maybe you can share that with us, too. Keep up with your good stuff, Jar. All right. Thanks, guys. Love yourself more and more. That's what I'm going to do. Peace out. Thanks, Chrissy. Love you, too. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye. See you next week.